Welcome back. As you know, I'm Eli the Computer Guy here for the Daily Blob. As we say, Elon Musk is gonna do what Elon Musk is gonna do. What are you, what are you gonna say about it anyways? Uh, so I think this is kind of interesting to look at. At first, I really wasn't gonna talk about this story at all because I thought it was honestly a bit of a nothing burger. And now I find it to be a wee bit more interesting. So uh, Elon Musk confirms that Tesla is shutting down Dojo. Uh, this is the supercomputer that was supposed to be, uh, you know, basically controlling or training for the, the fully self-driving uh, Tesla cars uh, that they're trying to deploy. And basically, I didn't think it was really a big deal, right? So, uh, so they started talking, I think, about um, uh, Dojo, I think it was like in 2019, something like that. Uh, Basically, this was supposed to be the forefront. This was supposed to be the future. And then the idea is just that they came to a dead end with the technology that sometimes happens with tech stacks. Uh, and I thought they were just switching over to something called Cortex. Uh, so Cortex was going to be a different supercomputer. And so it was like, well, there's nothing really to say there. I mean, I love talking shit about Elon Musk, but I also try to be fair about it. <laughs> I only talk shit about the stupid things. Like, hey, hey, if you have a $1 trillion company, Company, maybe you should actually show up to work more than once a week, right? Anyways, so I didn't really think this was gonna this was a big deal, but then come to find out that uh, the status of Cortex might be a wee bit more questionable than I really than I originally thought, which then becomes an interesting question of what is going to happen with uh, Tesla and AI, artificial intelligence. So to be clear, in the past, Elon Musk has specifically stated that Tesla as just a car company, just as an electric car company is worthless. He has literally stated it is worthless. The only thing that makes Tesla actually valuable is uh, the, the autonomous driving and, especially, and essentially the AI, right? So they pivoted a while ago to it's not a car company, it's an AI company. Okay, it is what it is. It's what it, we'll just put that on the table. But then the weird part was, right? He started having a hissy fit because he doesn't own enough shares uh, in Tesla. He didn't feel like he owned enough shares in Tesla. And if he was going to be working on artificial intelligence, he wanted some place where he had more control over. So he created this company called XAI. And so XAI is now worth something like $150 billion. And this is his, his is a private artificial intelligence company. It, it has investors, uh, but it's private investors. It's not on, you can't buy stock on the, the stock exchange or whatever, right? They have this big Memphis data center. And so that's where uh, he's focusing a lot of his energy on artificial intelligence, which then becomes a weird question because it's like Elon Musk literally said Tesla is worthless without artificial intelligence. And then it's a trillion dollar company, somewhere around a trillion dollar company, but depending on the day. And then he spins up an entirely separate company. It's important to understand this is an entirely separate company that's going to focus on artificial intelligence. So you start like, okay, well that starts getting weird. But then what gets even weirder then is then he starts talking about how Tesla will utilize XAI's artificial intelligence services, right? So they've already integrated Grok into Tesla's. I have not used it, but apparently it's there. They've integrated uh, Grok into their customer service routine. And so Tesla, which is supposed to be an AI, the value of that company is supposed to reside in artificial intelligence. And yet they're buying AI services from Elon Musk's other company that focuses on AI. And that's where this becomes interesting when you start thinking about Tesla shutting down Dojo. Because if Tesla is just shutting down Dojo in order to migrate to Cortex, right? Tesla Dojo, Tesla Cortex. All that might mean, the snark that you might have there is that maybe they invested too much into a dead end. Maybe because he hasn't been doing working full time for Tesla, they would have found the problems in Dojo sooner if he had focused on Tesla more. But that's about all you could be snarky about, right? You have this one tech stack. You think this tech stack is the future. Shit happens in the real world. You realize that's not the future. You migrate to a new tech stack. It sucks. You don't want to do it, but you get it. But here's the thing. What if you find out this is a dead end and then this, who knows what's going on with this? And then Elon Musk has this other AI company 
over here and well they've got AI services so why 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 should Tesla focus so much on artificial intelligence when they can just they can just use an AI vendor right I think this starts to become the more interesting question with Tesla and all of this idiocy this is going to blow up <laughs> as I have told you many times my name is Eli the computer guy I come here from 2030 to explain to you how Tesla blew the fuck up. You don't, you don't need a PhD to understand this. <sighs> Anyways. Elon Musk confirmed over the weekend reports that Tesla has disbanded the team working on his Dojo AI training supercomputer just weeks after announcing he expected to have Tesla's second cluster operating at scale in 2026. Quote, once it became clear that all pads converged on uh, a, uh, AI6, um, I had to shut down Dojo and make some tough personal choices as Dojo 2 was now an evolutionary dead end. And to be clear, that kind of shit really happens in the tech world. There is nothing snarky on there. Maybe if he had worked full time at Tesla, he could have figured that out sooner, but that's about all you can say. Uh, uh, Musk posted on X, quote, Dojo 3 arguably lives on the form of a large number of AI6 systems on a chip on a single board. It appears the D2 chip under development has been shelved along with a broader uh, Dojo project as Tesla shifts its focus to AI5 and AI6 chips, which are being manufactured by TSMC and Samsung, respectively. The AI5 uh, chip is primarily built uh, to power full self-driving, Tesla's driver assistant system, while AI6 is designed for both onboard inference and large-scale AI training. Quote, it doesn't make sense for Tesla to divide its resources and scale uh, to quite different AI chip designs, which again, there, there's, no, there's no argument there, right? They have this one chip, they have this one architecture, this one stack, they realize that's a dead end, they move to another stack, who the hell cares? Uh, the Tesla AI5, uh, uh, AI6, and subsequent chips will be excellent for inference and at least pretty good for training. All effort is focused on that. He added that for, uh, for a supercomputer cluster, it makes more sense to put, quote, many AI, uh, AI5 uh, slash AI6 chips on a board, whether for inference or training, simpler to reduce network cabling complexity and cost by a few orders of magnitude. Quote, one could call that Dojo 3, I suppose, uh, he said. Musk has talked about Dojo since 2019, reiterating that Dojo would be a cornerstone of Tesla's mission to achieve full self-driving and commercialize humanoid robots. Uh, talk of Dojo halted around August 2024 when Musk began touting Cortex instead, a, quote, giant new AI training supercluster being built at Tesla HQ in Austin to solve real-world AI, which makes sense. It's not clear if Cortex is still in the works. <laughs> Wait a minute, what now? Okay, so you have the, the, these D chips or whatever for Dojo. You realize Dojo, dead end. So you go with the AI, A, 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 AI5 and AI6 chips to go into a different direction. So you're like, okay, we're going to shut down the Dojo supercomputer and you're going to go to this new architecture, this new stack. <laughs> but then maybe the supercomputer for that stack doesn't exist. And whatever are you going to do? <laughs> I mean, I mean, come on now, people, come on. We realize that Dojo is a dead end and Cortex does not yet fully exist. Why shouldn't we use the hardware and AI infrastructure of this entirely different company that's currently worth $150 billion? I mean, right? Look, Tesla is an Elon Musk company. XAI is an Elon Musk company. It's win, win, win. Except for the shareholders. <laughs> Except for the shareholders. Because <laughs> basically what that's doing is if he says AI is the only thing that makes Tesla value, valuable, <laughs> and then he shifts all of the AI technology to an entirely different company, and then basically Tesla simply becomes a customer of an AI vendor. Where, where is that trillion dollar valuation? Autistic minds want to know. So, uh, so yeah, I, I don't know. Like I say, on this, it could just be word choice. I don't follow, I don't follow that part of Tesla 
over so much because again it just gets complicated trying to figure out what what elon musk is doing on any given day and understanding where this technology fits like what silos these technologies fit in gets to be very confusing as i said at first i wasn't going to talk about it i thought dojo was just going down cortex was going up whatever not a lot to say there but what becomes interesting if dojo goes down and cortex isn't up then where do you go for those AI resources? And th this, this is my question that I've been having about Tesla for a long time now, right? And especially with Elon Musk pushing XAI as this massive AI play. If Tesla is supposed to be an AI company, whether it's through the cars, whether it's through the robots, whether it's through other things, why is he putting so much time and energy into an entirely separate AI company with an entirely separate set of investors, right? If you invest in Tesla, if you, if you, if you bought a share of Tesla for $300 a share or whatever it currently is, and XAI turns into a $20 trillion company, do, do you know what your benefit is? Fucking not, nothing. Nothing. Nothing, because it's an entirely separate company. Uh, and that's, that's where all of this gets to be rather of a mess. So it'll be curious to see, uh, curious to see just how this all flushes out at the end of the day. Uh, I noticed we're not hearing a lot more about RoboTaxi. Hey, when was the last time you heard about RoboTaxi? That's been a while, right? It's been a couple of weeks. RoboTaxi's expanding to San Francisco. Except it's not really expanding to San Francisco. Like it's expanding to San Francisco, but Tesla employees will actually be driving the cars and they can't actually sell the service. It's just like a friends and family thing. So I don't know, Tesla employees are carpooling. <laughs> I mean, come on now. How do you not get snarky at this at a certain point in time? It's like, wow, hey, look, hey, look, Elon Musk is such a master at marketing and branding. <laughs> He's trying to convince us his employees carpooling is <laughs> some new great innovation. Oh my golly. No, no, but what you gotta understand, Eli, 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 they're not carpooling. <laughs> they're driving together in Teslas. It's entirely different. I don't know. Where will this end? Who the fuck knows? I don't know. <laughs> like watching Elon Musk is just, like watching Elon Musk is, is proof that the world just isn't sane sometimes. Like if you look at it, right, the value of Tesla should be like $200 billion, right? All this stuff, you know, he should be going to jail at this point for SEC violations. Like if you look at this from a sane standpoint, none of this should be occurring. And yet it is. And yet it is. So anyways, what do you think about this? With Dojo being shut down and there being a question about Cortex. What do you think about Elon Musk literally saying the only value in Tesla is artificial intelligence and at the exact same time, <laughs> he's building a $150 billion AI company on the side. What do you think about how they're already integrating XAI AI products into Tesla's and then the question of, well, if they've already integrated these in the Tesla ecosystem, why not just have XAI be the vendor? Am I the only one that thinks this is a little bit fucking weird? Anyways, put your thoughts down below. Give us a thumbs up, give us a thumbs down. Say I'm amazing, say I'm a moron. I will get a lot of that. Eli, well, you don't understand it. Oh. Boy, boy, I do not understand. <laughs> and I don't think that's my problem. For some reason, me not understanding what's going on, I don't feel like it's a shot against me. But anyways, put all that all down below because all YouTube cares about is that interaction. Do you remember SiliconDojo.com exists? Uh, we do fireside chats. So I'm going to do a fireside chat with the VP for AI models over at IBM. Tomorrow, my time, probably a couple of days ago, your time. Uh, but anyways, you can go to silicondoja.com. You, uh, you can become a member for free. And you can sign up for these uh, fireside chat sessions uh, to talk with real people in the real world of technology and learn about what they are actually doing. Not what they're flapping their gums about, where they're actually putting their money. Uh, you come on, it's basically a Zoom call, so you can ask questions in the chat stream. And that's about it. Uh, so anyways, that's all I got for you. See y'all later.